everyone welcome back to project happy home for those of you who are new here i'm tanya doctor lawyer turned homeschool mom of three kids ages 10 7 and 5. if you're interested in videos about secular homeschooling raising a child with adhd and living a more essentialist lifestyle you have come to the right place so be sure to hit that subscribe button down below the video in today's video i'll be going through a little flip through of the hutchinson treasury of children's literature edited by allison sage for you. Now, I don't see so many videos or just blog posts or discussions about treasuries of children's literature. I personally, as a reader, love treasuries. I like looking through them and seeing some of the favorite pieces from my past, from my childhood. I like treasuries of poetry. I like having things curated and put together in a collection of beautiful words. One of the reasons I like children's treasuries in particular is that it's a great way to introduce yourself to something like morning time or read aloud without too much pressure on you to find worthwhile pieces. This one in particular is done very well, I think. Um, well, as I was reading the introduction, I really appreciated what they said about books being for people of any age, particularly children's books. I think children's books are often relegated to like, this is only for a kindergartner, this is only for a third grader. I actually don't believe that that's true. I think a lot can be gained from picture books for the older reader as well. And I think there is a lot to be said for reading things that are a little bit above your age. In terms of how the book is organized, it's organized into four different parts. So you have part one with the youngest picture books and rhymes, Part two with older picture books, poems, fairy tales, and stories. Part three with extracts from younger fiction, poems, and traditional stories. And then part four, extracts from older fiction and poems. However, the introduction does mention that, you know, books are meant and stories are meant for people of all ages. Sometimes the very simplest stories that we feel like are meant for the younger kids have so much to say to us as adults who've lived through this experience. And sometimes having younger kids hear older stories or stories that you might feel are a little bit beyond them is really a way to stretch their minds and to bring them across the divide between people and between experiences and to stretch them as they grow into adulthood, you know? So I think that there are a lot of children's stories that are appropriate across the ages. So again, in the first section, you'll recognize a lot of the nursery rhymes that are there. There's also classic books for younger children like The Snowy Day. In part two, again, you'll have like more classic stories like Dr. DeSoto or the tale of Mrs. Tiggy Winkle or the Polar Express, but you'll also have some that you might not have encountered like Badger's Parting Gifts. In part three, a lot more excerpts are taken out of larger storybooks. So you might have a story of um, Dr. Doolittle, and that's a section from that book. There's a selection from the BFG, for example, by Roald Dahl. There's a selection from Peter Pan. And then same in part four. So you'll have a section from the borrowers, a section from the wind in the willows, but all really beautiful choices. And the illustrations are gorgeous. In many cases, the illustrations are the original from the book. This is one of the things that I liked best about this particular collection. So here you have the nursery rhyme section. You have some classic illustrations that go with Mother Goose. Here you have I Want My Potty by Tony Ross, again, with the original illustrations from the book. Um, Pat a Cake, King Rolo and the New Shoes. So really beautiful illustrations for a treasury. It's still um, like full-size illustrations often or like quarter-sized in some cases. But you can see they didn't skimp on ink here or color. It's really a gorgeous treasury. Here you have the snowy day, and they've put two pictures to a page here for that. So it's a really nice nighttime reading book or morning time book. Here you have the Velveteen Rabbit, Geraldine Giraffe. <laughs> they do have a, a religious story here, Jesus's Christmas Party. The Winter Hedgehog, Dr. DeSoto is what we're reading right now, so that's my little page marker. Thumbelina, The Polar Express, Snow White, Badger's Parting Gifts, and the foreword is actually written by Quentin Blake, who illustrated this, for example. Twelve Dancing Princesses, a relatively macabre story in a way. And as you go on, you do have more text. For example, here's in Peter Pan, a selection from Peter Pan because you have longer stories that are traditionally meant for older children. A selection of Alice in Wonderland, Br'er Rabbit, 
The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, Stig of the Dump, The Phoenix and the Carpet, A Selection from Super Fudge, and The Borrowers, Ballet Shoes. I still remember reading Ballet Shoes for the first time. The Jungle Book, Tom's Midnight Garden, which I don't believe I've ever read. Red Wall, which is another classic book I haven't read yet, which I look forward to. And a selection from Treasure Island, Nargon and the Stars, The Kingdom by the Sea. There is an acknowledgement section here, but no index, which I wish they did have, did have an index. I'm sort of partial to indexes. The book itself underneath the jacket, this particular edition is very nice. It's um, like a cloth bound edition. And I just think it's a lovely, lovely book. So if you can get your hands on one, this is the Hutchinson Treasury of Children's Literature. I believe this one was copyrighted in 1995. And I think it's a beautiful morning time or nighttime reading book or just to hand to your child. I think it's a, a lovely book to sit with and sort of grow with alongside them. So as always, you guys, I really do appreciate your time. I know we are all like snuggled down for quarantine time right now. And I wish you guys and your family the very best in the days and weeks and months ahead. So take good care, everybody.